the recently released Transparency International report dismally ranked Uganda to the rank of 140 out of 177 countries. The country slid 10 slots down the scale and was amongst the 37 highly ranked countries grappling with corruption. As the world prepares to celebrate the anti-corruption day, Uganda has failed to shake off its Achilles heel. Whereas Uganda has a good legal regime to fight corruption, Uganda Debt Network fears that the country could be losing 1.5 trillion shillings to corruption annually. The net adverse effect is borne by the taxpayers, with women being the majority victims when they care for the sick in health units with no sufficient basic medical care. The body accuses the regime of half-hearted measures and lacking the political will to fight corruption. The anti-graft body also faults government for selective prosecution. Uh, the IGG no longer has power to terminate or even recommend the termination of presidential appointees and, and that the president himself is not obliged to fire people who fail to, uh, to report their assets. The anti-graft body wants parliament to debate the anti-corruption amendment bill which, if passed into law, will give government the right to seize the proceeds from corruption, including property. The, the bill should, should provide for government to confiscate and seize the proceeds of corruption so as to raise the risk threshold of corruption and make corruption a risk venture in Uganda. Uganda Debt Network also wants government to improve funding to anti-graft watchdog bodies. Anist Wisdom Chionga, NTV.